Hello friends. Hey everybody. Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> we know it's been a while and I will just say that we have had sickness in our home so much this season. This it, it was me. Yeah, it's always Richard, but <laughs> I work. And yeah, he sleep. works, he doesn't sleep, so he's been sick like four or five times this year so far. Annabella's been sick twice, I've been sick twice or three times. So yeah. Hence our absence the past three weeks. Anyways, we're so glad to be back for Annabella's seven month update, you guys. Seven. seven months, and if you can hear her little cuteness in the background, she's right now, if you can't see, she's laying on my chest, um, about to go to sleep. It's nighttime, and this is the only time that I thought it'd be best to do it because Annabella, you guys, lately screams when we talk. She wants to be, not in a bad way, but she wants to be like the center of attention, so she wants to be the loudest person, so she's like, Rah! so I figured, you know, her kind of half asleep and be best. So right now she's just making her cute sleepy voice sounds. She's she popping her. up a lot. Yeah, she can see the light. So, oh hello, you wanna be in the video? <laughs> so, so we're gonna talk about her seven month update really quick. There's not too, too much, but there's a couple of really big things. So the first thing is you guys, this girl is on the move, ladies and gentlemen. She chases Gabby. She crawls on the floor. It's all thanks to our dog, Gabby, who's my guide dog, who's a black lab. Gabby is someone she loves so much, as you guys have heard in previous videos. So she will li she literally started crawling one day, not too long ago, like a week ago or so, maybe, maybe less, because Gabby was enticing her and she wanted Gabby so bad that she went after her. And we knew it would happen and it did and it was amazing. Ever since then, this girl doesn't stop. Like, she is just on the move. She's crawling. She wants to crawl. She's not like a fast crawler, but she definitely gets around. She rolls and crawls and wants to be on her own now all the time on the floor. So that's always a challenge. <coughs> Especially for me over here, blind mama. I have to follow her everywhere she goes. So I put her on the floor and I basically Or even have if to... you're just holding her, she tries to climb yeah, over you and get... she tries to get off and get into the floor or get what she wants. So I have to literally, like, chase her around on the floor all the time, which I'm okay with because it's fun. But it is a little extra work that I'm getting used to. <laughs> a little more care that I have to take. But it's a lot of fun. So we've enjoyed her being on the move, huh, sweetheart? Well, hello. hello. Oh, great. She sees the screen now. Yep. She'll go back to sleep. No, she likes screens. <laughs> it's okay. But she is a joy, you guys. We love her. What's another thing, babe, she's done this month that's been amazing? A lot more food. Oh, my gosh, you guys. She's officially on solids. I know last month we mentioned that we were just going to start trying to do solids. Guys, she is loving her purees. They're goo. Yes. They're not solid. Well, they're so purees. Not puree, like fruit and vegetables. We don't do, we don't do rice cereal. I just- Yet. Yet. I, I don't really- Or oatmeal. Yeah, I don't really think it's necessary. So, you know, cause uh, there's a lot of reasons, but- I think it's good soon. Yeah, but we started but her no. off on fruits and vegetable purees just because it's just easy and convenient. And so we buy like really healthy organic- Are you um, waving? Pouches. Say hi. Can you wave hi, Nubby? Can you wave hi? I can turn off the screen for us, but it'll still record. Mm. Oh. Good night, baby. Are you sure you can do that? Uh, that made her talk. Yeah. Because sure. it's still recording from the camera. I just turned off the screen. I didn't know you could do that. Are you sure you could do that? Wow. That's and so then cool. Turn it on. It says three minutes, 40 seconds. Yeah. That's so cool. I just hope it doesn't go black on their end. You can just leave it on if you want. Whatever. Anyways, what were we saying? Oh. Fruit and vegetable puree. This girl eats everything. I started. We started her off with um, her first thing was carrots, and she was like, okay, and eh, whatever about it. She didn't really eat I it. I think she did that at the six months. Yeah, a little after six months, and then <coughs> she's awake. I love you. And then we did uh, sweet potatoes, and she liked those a little bit, but not you know super much. And then as the month went on, we just kind of tried different things. Her favorite so far is apple. She loves anything. She really apple. like the pears too. She does like pears. She loves fruit, but, so I thought, oh my gosh, we both thought, like, she's not going to eat vegetables, like, if she loves fruit so much. Well, the other day, we gave her apples and broccoli, and she downed it. And just today, we gave her, what was it, babe, spinach, peas, and pears? Yeah. And she downed it. You guys, this girl loves her food, which we're blessed She just keeps about. her hand on that spoon and mm -hmm. goes, and she just doesn't let it go. Yeah, it's a, adorable. I use what's called a boon spoon. Richard uses it too, or he can use a regular spoon, but I like the boon spoon because it has a little silicone bottle. It's like a bottle cup. that ends in a spoon. Mm -hmm. and, and you 
unscrew it and you fill it up. Yep. And then you squeeze it and it comes out on the spoon. Yep, so it's a lot less messy. So she holds one spoon. You don't have to keep getting it out and putting it in her face. And she just holds the spoon and it's like a straw, but you control how much comes out. It's amazing. And we've done that every time and she loves it and she looks forward to her food now, so. Yeah, we put her in the seat and she's like, where is it? Yeah, so she's doing great. Still no teeth. Still have yet to have that happen, which honestly, as a nursing mama, which yes, I still nurse full time, which I just realized we kind of went out of our order. I wanted to do like eating, sleeping, and then development, and I'm going backwards. We haven't done sleeping yet. So this one's a little out of sorts, but- I yawned. It's uh, tradition. It's tradition. But we won't, but honestly, like, there's not much to talk about, so I know I won't forget anything. So basically, where was I? See, now I'm forgetting things. Sleep. <laughs> Sleep, yes. Then I yawned because you said sleep. Oh my goodness. But before sleep, I was talking about something else with food. Oh, I was just saying that she still has no teeth and that as a breastfeeding mama, it's nice because I hear about the famous biting. Um, and I have, I, you know, I can wait a while for that to be a problem. So I'm like, baby girl, as long as you want to hold off on the teeth, that's fine with me. Just hope she doesn't get them all at once because that'd be horrible for her. Anyways out of order but now we're on to sleep since we covered development and eating out of order <laughs> but sleep you guys let's talk about sleep oh my goodness so <sighs> last time I think we told you guys that she has not been sleeping which is true that whole month she was just like not napping not sleeping through the night well now we decided um, just a couple weeks ago that we were gonna start to crib train her just because she would outgrew her bath she's so small she's only 14 and a half pounds or so. So a lot of babies her age are way bigger. So. <laughs> Go to sleep, buddy. Go to sleep, sweetheart. And you know you're tired, it's nine o'clock. People are mad when we leave you out of the video. So we have to But this is what happens. Yep. At least you're not screeching. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so now we decided since she just outgrew her bassinet <coughs> maybe about three weeks ago, she outgrew that and we were co-sleeping for a while, um, for a good while. And it just got to the point where, honestly, Richard had to sleep on the couch a lot. I think we mentioned that last time because... Stop your yawning. Oh, no. Because um, cause I said sleep again. But he had wow. to sleep on the couch a lot because, I think we told you guys, but if we didn't, we have a queen bed, and it's not a very big queen bed, and so it feels kind of like there's not enough room for all three of us in there unless the baby stays on my chest all night, which that's fine, but it gets kind of uncomfortable for me to be in one position. So, basically... It got to the point where I was like, okay, Richard can't keep sleeping on the couch because I miss him, obviously, in the bed with us. And we got to get her used to her crib. So we decided a couple weeks ago to start her sleeping in her crib. So we would just literally rock her, put her down on her crib, and she would cry. And we, I never let her cry because, like I said, I don't believe in crying out. But what I would do was I would just go to her when she cried. I would give her maybe a few seconds just to make sure she didn't go back to sleep. And if she didn't, I'd go get her, pick her up, rock her again, put her back in. And basically we do that as many times as we need to. So I guess it is sleep training. It's just a gentler form of sleep training. Um, so we, I would go back, Richard too. We both would, um, <laughs> maybe you're gonna block my sound waves. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> she thinks she can still look in the pop top as now a mirror because there's no lights. Yeah, well, ow. So there's no winning with this baby. I know, she's trying to crawl on me, but anyways. Back to sleep training. So basically, we, like I said, we would just pick her up, put her down as no, many no. times as we needed to in order to get her used to the crib. And it took a few days, She's but sleep. now, actually it took a little longer, but now she sleeps in her crib, you guys. The only downside to this is, what are you doing with your head, babe? <laughs> Can they see us in the camera yeah. still? Okay. The only downside to this. Like Annabella can see is, us in the camera oh, still. Oh, okay. She's like, how are you in two places now? Sorry, we're uh, oh, that was cute. getting so sidetracked with this baby crawling on my chest here. Out of sight, out of mind. Ah! Uh, that's false. She apparently still remembers that there's something interesting over there. <laughs> Anyways, babe, I have to not forget what I'm saying because I will. What was I? Oh, so <laughs> now the only downside to the sleep training that we've done is that we've realized I've tried so hard, Richard too, but we've tried so hard, mostly me, to put her on a schedule because he's working all the time and I wanted her to be on a schedule where... She would nap three times a day and then go to bed at seven or eight so that Richard and I could have the night together. And what I realized over the last couple of weeks is that when I put her to bed at eight o'clock, she's getting up every hour and she's not sleeping well. 
and then she gets up earlier throughout the night and it's just really hard. So what I found, unfortunately, but fortunately at the same time, is that this little girl's a night owl. So it works best when we keep her up till honestly about between 10 and 11 o'clock, which sounds absurd and it is, but once we put her in the crib around 10 or 11, she's super tired. She's not gonna fight us, you know, fight sleep anymore because she's just too tired. So we put her in the crib and I'm telling you the last couple of nights, she has done eight hour stretches in there, like from Good 11 job, to seven. Baby I don't want to jinx it, so we're not gonna jinx it. It could change, but as of right now, she's sleeping full eight hour nights in her crib, but we have to put her to bed late. But I am honestly okay with that, just because I'd rather have the sleep at night, even if it means putting her to bed late with us and not having our time together, because we'll just, you know, we'll get our time eventually. You know, and we sleep in separate rooms, so Richard and I obviously can talk for a little while at night. So it works out fine. So that's amazing. The only thing is this girl still doesn't take daytime naps very well. Sometimes she will, but it's very rare. And, you know, usually she just, she gets a 5, 10, 20 minute nap in here or there. But honestly, I will take the no naps if it means sleeping through the night. So it's a little bit of a sacrifice, but it's so worth it. Um, I know I've been talking everyone's ear off, babe. Anything else about sleep that I'm forgetting? Hmm. Or anything else, I guess. No, just toys, I guess. Like toys? She's... Oh, she loves her toys. Oh, she's, yes. She's uh, more... She, she doesn't need toys, even. Like, if we put her on the ground, she'll just have fun crawling around. She sees Gabby, but she goes somewhere else sometimes. Like, she'll just lie under her bouncer and just reach up and, like, sit in her bumbo seat on the table and just reach. Oh, she loves her bumbo and, seat. And, like, she just is finding out what she's capable of, which is cute. She has changed so much, you guys, in a month. And As you can tell by her clothes. Yeah, she's literally trying to crawl on top of me right now to try to get to the computer or the camera, which we're not going to allow, but it's really cute. She's just amazing, as you guys can tell, and um, we're about to get her to bed soon. <coughs> I'm sorry this update was all over the place, but we just wanted to make sure we kept you guys in the loop of how she's doing and... We always appreciate, again, you guys watching our videos, and um, subscribe if you want to continue. I know we don't upload as much as we'd like, but we're really trying. It's just with our schedules and everything. We're, we promise eventually we'll fall into a pattern, but we're happy to have you guys along for the ride of our crazy family, and we love you all, and we will see you in the next video, won't we, Annabella? Yeah. Say bye. Can you wave? She doesn't really know. She's trying to wave, but doesn't really have it yet. Can you wave? Mommy, I'll help you. Ready? Bye! Bye! <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.